I don't know what to expect. I mean, based on what people have said, the refugees who've spent time there, it sounds like not a very pleasant place. They really have no hope. They're not looking for help, they're just looking to get out. Eritrea has one of the most repressive governments in the world. The door to the prison was only opened once every two weeks, so they could take out the bodies. More than half the country has left, approximately. They control everything. If you're viewed as a threat to the power of the government, you could be arrested. So the members of his own cabinet were rounded up and arrested and put into prison. Human rights is a myth in Eritrea. We barely know what our rights are. We only know our duties. This is where they live. Now smugglers are asking for even $60,000 to release the person. A blanket was thrown around them at night and they were thrown into the back of the truck. Tens of thousands of refugees have taken to the streets to protest. You don't stay in Israel. Go your country. Go your country. I'm ashamed of my country for the way they are killing the refugees. just asked me outside if there were any solutions. I don't know. I don't know if there are here. <laughs>